Conqueror hockey is a very unique type of hockey in one piece. Those who have it can give off an enormous amount of aura and energy. Not infrequently a weak enemy can immediately faint if exposed. In the One Piece series, only a few strong users are said to have this power. They are chosen people who are said to have the quality to be a king. In this video, we will discuss some of the techniques of Conqueror Hockey. Conqueror Hockey can be used to temporarily dominate the psyche of others and intimidate them. This has been most explicitly shown against animals, with usages of Conqueror causing them to either become fearful and flee, or become docile for a brief period, with both effects happening instantly. This domination may end up resulting in the victim losing consciousness a short time later. This technique's effect on humans and other races of equivalent intelligence is currently rather ambiguous. In other instances, people in the vicinity of Conqueror usage whose wills are strong enough to avoid incapacitation have not demonstrated much indication of being dominated by the user's will. While Conqueror hockey users are almost always shown in high-ranking leadership positions, it remains unknown if this hockey plays any sort of a role in their ability to attract followers. Of course, since Conqueror users are stated to have the qualities of a king, they are naturally expected to possess personality traits that make them effective leaders. By overpowering the will of those around them to an even greater degree, a Conqueror hockey user is capable of knocking people and animals in their vicinity unconscious. Whether or not a person is rendered unconscious depends on the degree of their strength in comparison to the users, generally normal citizens and common soldiers and pirates are most likely to be knocked out by Conqueror hockey. Whereas people established to be capable, powerful, and strong-willed are far less likely to fall victim. Oda has stated that anyone who is knocked out by Conqueror Hockey is essentially not worth fighting the user directly. People who just barely have enough willpower to withstand a Conqueror user have been shown to become lightheaded and are forced to concentrate in order to remain conscious. And although sufficiently powerful people can resist this power without issue, they are still able to sense the hockey being used. The greater the strength and willpower that a Conqueror user possesses, the more people they are capable of incapacitating. Sufficiently powerful Conqueror users are capable of going up against large hordes of enemies and incapacitating most, if not all of them in an instant. It is even possible to knock out tens of thousands of enemies in once. Unknowing or inexperienced Conqueror users frequently first manifest this ability unconsciously by shouting at those around them with the intent of trying to get them to stop doing something and their release of Conqueror Hockey will tend to indiscriminately impact everyone in their vicinity, who is weak-willed enough. With training, a Conqueror user is capable of incapacitating people simply by looking intently at them, or even by just walking past them. Sufficiently skilled Conqueror users can also limit the effect of their hockey when using it in a crowded area, being capable of choosing not to knock out certain people. Additionally, Conqueror users have even demonstrated the ability to incapacitate others while unconscious, with their spirit remaining unyielding even as their body gives out. If used with a sufficient degree of power, Conqueror Hockey is capable of damaging inanimate objects and structures in the user's vicinity. When two Conqueror users clash, they will generate black lightning. This energy will often stretch up high enough to be seen from anywhere on the island where the clash is taking place. Additionally, the force of a Conqueror hockey clash will create shockwaves that will shake the surrounding area and can even blow away nearby people and objects. Additionally, Conqueror clashes between particularly powerful individuals have even resulted in a massive rift in the sky above them, known as splitting the heavens. A very small number of particularly powerful Conqueror hockey users, stated to only be a handful by Kaido, are able to infuse their body and weapons with this hockey in a way that is very similar to armament hockey, greatly augmenting the power of their attacks. After infusing themselves with Conqueror hockey, the hockey is emitted from the part it is focused at in the form of black lightning. This application provides such an immense boost in power. All users so far are extremely skilled in armament hockey, which can also be used in conjunction with Conqueror Infusion to augment their overall effectiveness. The advanced armament application of damaging objects without making physical contact with them has often been seen with people using Conqueror Infusion, but it should not be taken as a sign of Conqueror Infusion by itself, as it has been shown that infused objects can make physical contact with what they strike. 
Observation killing is an advanced conqueror hockey technique which allows for the control of one own aura or presence, negating an opponent's ability to see into the future with observation hockey. This technique has only been briefly mentioned so far, with Shanks being the only confirmed user.